Hello, I'm Balraj. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will discuss earthquakes with the help of plate tectonics. Earthquakes are basically one of the ways in which the Earth's internal energy is manifested. And this manifestation is in the form of vibrations and oscillations which comes out in the form of wave energy. Here we can see in the diagram also that a certain earthquake occurred at this focus and energy moved up in the form of waves and vibrations occurred on the Earth's surface. Now the place where the earthquake occurs is called the focus and the place immediately above the focus on the Earth's surface is called the epicenter. Epicenter is the place where the earthquake is first experienced on the Earth's surface. Now energy in the form of waves is manifested in the form of three kinds of waves. Primary waves, secondary waves and L waves. I have discussed these waves in my earlier lecture on internal structure of the earth and seismic waves. Now on the basis of focus, we can divide the earthquakes into three types. Shallow focus earthquakes are those earthquakes where the focus of the earthquakes is about 50 kilometers deep from the earth's surface. Medium focus earthquakes are those in which the focus of the earthquakes is about 50 to 100 kilometers inside the earth and deep focus earthquakes are those where the focus of the earthquakes is about 100 to 700 kilometers inside the earth. Now we will understand the earthquakes with the help of plate boundaries. There are three kinds of plate boundaries, constructive plate boundaries, destructive plate boundaries and conservative plate boundaries. Constructive plate boundaries are those in which two plates move away from each other and here in this diagram we can see that since the plates are moving away Magma from inside the earth is coming up and this rising magma is hitting the two plates and on account of hitting earthquakes occur. Here the earthquakes are shallow focused, they are mild approximately 1 to 3 on the Richter scale. A very good example would be the mid-Atlantic ridge which is in the Atlantic Ocean. Here the earthquakes are continuous but not very strong. Now we will come to destructive plate boundaries. In the destructive plate boundaries, two plates collide against each other and earthquakes occur at three different focuses in this kind of boundary. F1, I have made F1 here, is the place where two plates are hitting and F1 is the place where most earthquakes occur in this context and most powerful earthquakes also occur. Now F2 is the place where partial melting is occurring because the plate is going down in the venue of zone and here the earthquakes are deep focused and there is another focus F3 on the focus 3 earthquakes occur because the rising magma is hitting the plates and there is also volcanism above the plate. Now we come to the conservative plate boundaries. The conservative plate boundaries are those where two plates move away from each other but parallel to each other they do not hit against each other but in between the plates there is friction and there is interlocking of the rocks and due to this interlocking the rocks get jammed but when the elastic limit of the rocks is exceeded there is a very sudden release of energy so very strong earthquakes are released here the earthquakes can be shallow focused or uh, medium focused uh, a good example of it would be the San Andreas fault in California now we will come to something called intraplate earthquakes these are the kind of earthquakes where the earthquakes occur within the plate. There are no two plates interacting. Here uh, the earthquakes can occur because of examples like hot spots or regional faulting. Now here we can see in the diagram that there is a certain hot spot in the metal and magma is coming out and on account of this earthquake is caused on the plate above. Earthquakes in this context can also be called due to some regional or local faulting. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel. This is Balraj signing out. Please stay tuned for more channels. Thank you.